here it's a long road from Amistad to Toho doesn't matter which way you go the miles are all the same but when you yeah, finally get there here to tell me practice for the average start with Brian Colby on a video camera what we get about eight or nine so far eight or nine Tom's had the um, bulk of the big fish I caught um, three keepers but nothing special Throwing chatterbaits, swim jigs, sinkos, mixing it up a little bit. Well, Vic, the skinny spawned out, post spawn fish, white chatterbait. Skinny, any spawn, post spawn. Yeah. You can tell look how skinny it's compared to the ones we caught on it in the dirty water on the hardcover. About two pounds. The second one we caught in here, we didn't film the other one, was kind of small. Not this small chatterbait fish. Last one was about a minute ago. Showing what we're fishing, Brian, by these pads. Fishing all these pads. It's going back into like a creek channel. Two. Small one, but it'll keep. Fish some grass, white buzz bait. Monday. Probably about what, two and a half? Right there. I think we're going to go to a 12 inch size limit. I think last week, the weekend was the last day, the 15 inch size limit. Yep, it's 12. I got an email about it. You did? Yep. Yeah. Came on a white bus bait. Nice. Especially the outside edge of the grass. Uh, dead low tide, so I got Brian throwing a frog um, in the grass, and I want to try the edge with a bus bait to see what's going on. So we're Catch on. still up north. Just caught this one on Dirty Jig Swim Jig. Um, green green sunfish. sunfish. Zoom speed crawl. This is actually my best one so far. Um, it went to 12 inch size, but he's a keeper. He's a good pound and a half, maybe. There we go. Not bad. Short, little, but he's fat. Got a little belly on him. Yeah. Definitely uh, good for a co angle. I'll take it. Let's see if we can get some more. Mm -hmm. Well, second fish, fat. Nice guy, thick. Nice came on a chatterbait. We're up here north trying to north stuff. Real dirty water. I'm going to eliminate everybody. Not, there's a BFL tournament today and the LAPR tournament. and Not a boat up north. They're all down south in the grass. So we're going to see if we can find something a little off the beaten path we can have to ourselves. You get five like this in a tournament, I'll be happy. Yeah. Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. I'm here on I-95 where I've been for the last three and a half hours. There's a tractor trailer turned over here on 95 and uh, all, all the lanes are dead stop now for all night long and all morning long. It's uh, 9.15 right now and uh, I'm not even in Baltimore yet. I've been here all night and all morning. So we'll see. If I make the way in, I'll just drive straight to the way in and record that and uh, hopefully Tom and Brian and Jonathan and all place tie and then I'll just turn around and drive back home again. So it doesn't look like I'm even going to get out onto the water at all today. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get off the freeway at this point. <laughs> so we'll check back within you guys in a little bit and uh, see what happens. Chickamauxin now, they're looking for a frog bite. Uh, good day. Uh, I'm looking for some bigger, you know, get those fish in the boat tomorrow. All right, it looks like you got enough to move in the top 10. Dave's got a five bass limit today. This can go 14 pounds, 11 ounces, all the way to four spot for you. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. Good luck tomorrow, right? Aaron Hastings out of Middletown, Maryland, fishes on the front side. Aaron's got a five bass limit today in his bag. 
Kingsville, Maryland, Jonathan Miller fishing the co-hanger side. Jonathan packing a five-bass tournament limit. Off to a good start. How are you today, Jonathan? Five, five fish. That's a good start for you. Yeah, it was, it was a tough day, but we, we managed. Good afternoon tomorrow. Five bass today for Jonathan. His weight, nine pounds, 14 ounces. 14th overall. You're right where you need to be. Good luck. Well, Fairfax, Virginia, Matthew Cappy fishing on the boat side with a five best tournament limit. How are you, Matthew? Yes. Five fish today. That'll be worth. So, uh, good job. Good job. Got your boat. Good luck to yep. you tomorrow. How'd you do? I had about the same weight. Same weight. Well, Frederick Mary fishing on the boat side. Jeffrey Ware with a five bass tournament limit. Hey, Jeff. How are you, buddy? Doing all right? Doing well. Good. Five fish for you today. Your weight. Eight pounds, nine ounces. Eight, nine. Good luck to you tomorrow, Jeff. Eight pounds, 12 ounces, eight, 12. Good luck to you tomorrow. Okay, how about Mildred Colby? It's Mildred here. Come on in. Tyler Shepard. Tyler sits on the corner side. Yeah, I talked to him. He's Tank got Moses. He's got 15. He is off to a great start. How you doing, Tyler? Four today. His weight today. 310, 312. I guess I got 16 to 17 yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's going to put you in good shape. You got a big fish. Uh, a big fish is 5, 4, 5, 6. You got one like that? I don't think so. No. But they're all nice. They're all real quality. You found some good quality fish that's good. Yep, it's about time, man. I've had a tough time out here this year. <laughs> it was all right last year on July. Hey, there, Tank. Doing all right? I'm good. I'm hot. All right? Yeah, I'm hot. I think it's a nice day. When you're fat, it's hot. <laughs> He got a five bass tournament limit. The tank is off to a wonderful start. Five bass win. 16 pounds. This looks like Brian Colby here. Didn't get a limit, but I got it. Do you? All right. I know you. All right. Yeah, he's man. He got two bass today. How you doing, Kenny? Two fish for you today. You away? Four pounds, three ounces, four or three. Good luck tomorrow, Kenny. I should be making pods. <laughs> Here's your fish, boss. From Houndton, New Jersey, fishing on the motor side, Tom Wolverton. Tom has a five bass tournament limit. Five fish for us today. Good looking bag of fish, Tom. That ain't bad, buddy. How are you today? Thank you. All right, babe. The guy at the Yama trailer uh, broke down. Um, he spent an hour and a half. He got me running. The guy from the Ranger trailer said, the guy did a great job. And I just want to say hi to all the uh, kids at the Bass College. And um, thanks to Rangers for um, helping me get here. All right. The dirty jigs. All right, let's see what's the way, Tom. Five bass today. <laughs> 12 pounds, four ounces. 12 four. Good luck to you tomorrow. From Plainfield, Vermont, this is Jimmy Kennedy fishing on the motor side. Jimmy has three bass for us today. Three fish. How you doing, Jimmy? For today. Hey, John. How's it going, buddy? That's a good looking bag of fish. Yeah, well, I've worked very hard for those fish. Uh -huh. it's, it's, I've, I've been struggling this this entire year, really, and it's nice to break the curse. So you you done good today. Uh, something that's gonna hold up for you? I think so. I think so. I think I just uh, you know keep my head down and uh, I count them on a lot of different things. It was an interesting day, good day. I'd like to say uh, thank thank you to my wife for being supportive. She's watching at home and my parents. Them watching at home too, uh, and I appreciate all the support. All right, John. Guys, he's got a good looking bag of fish. He's off to a great start. He's going to put some pressure all over somebody. John Hutchins, five bass. 17 pounds, nine ounces, all the way to From Crofton, Maryland, Brian Colby fishing the co-hanger side. Brian has three bass for us today, three fish. Brian, your fish are going away. Six pounds, four ounces. Good luck tomorrow, sir. Got one more way for big bass, okay. It'll lead the way, uh, corner side, five, five. We'll check it. We'll close you up, boss. He's got one he wants to wave a big bass. We're looking for five, five. That's a pretty fish, put it right there. 
Fish are going away. Three pounds, 11 ounces. 311. Thanks, sir. Can I say something real quick? Sure. I just want to shout out to the Bass College. Wouldn't be here without him. And thank you, Steve Von Brandt. Great guy. Wouldn't be here without him. All right. Okay. Good luck to you tomorrow. About a two and a four, two and a half. He would be in really good shape. Hey, Steve Von Brandt here for the Bass College. I'm up here north. I'm working all the northern spots where no boats are. I caught a whole bunch like this. Um, I've tried different baits. I was throwing a frog in some spots, just walking it, and through the chatter baits, different colors, big spinner bait and white, and uh, through this new chatter bait that I made here, put a different trailer on it, the orange, and that's the one he just hit. Throwing it on the I rods, uh, I rod Air, I'm flipping with, and the I rod Genesis too. Using Sunline FX2 braid and FX1, which is really nice on my spinning reels. Might have found some, some some bigger ones here in the grass. Had one hit a minute ago, felt a little bigger and got off. So we'll see what happens. I've only got about an hour left. I got about two or three hours to fish today before the weigh-in. So we're going to skip down there and see how Tom does pull the boat out. But I got about another hour, so I'm going to hit this grass bed. And we'll see you guys in a minute. That's Dave Lefebvre that just pulled into Broad Creek behind me. He's fishing the grass that I just found. That must be where those fish were the other day that he had, the big ones. Well, he's fishing the grass bed that I just found here. Now, I've only found the smaller fish, but maybe he's just using it's a different time bait. to get out of here. The uh, weigh-in's going to be in an hour. I'm going to pull out. Dave Lefevre already pulled out. Apparently, they weren't hitting in there like he wanted either. So that was the same grass bed that I found. I caught six all the same size. No sense filming them. They were, they were legal fish, but I don't like weighing in five fish that weigh 4.3 pounds. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to get on out of here. Let's see how they did it to weigh in. And I'll see you next time uh, on the upper bay. Unless they make the cut, I'll be back here tomorrow. All right, we're getting ready for the weigh-in. Here's Brian Colby. Just walked up to the deck to get a bag. What happened? Two fish, missed three, and I actually had one. I caught it, had it on the boat. I went to lean down to grab my rod, and when I leaned down, it smacked the side of the boat and went over in the water. Just a couple pounds wasn't giant. Right? No, two pounds. Yeah, that's still that makes a big difference. That could have jumped you up to, you know. 30th place or something down from 32nd, you know? I'm happy either way because uh, yeah. I did better than some boaters out there. Yeah, you did good. It was tough. I went out. I caught six, but they were all like 12, 13 inches. I got them up in Broad Creek. I was sitting there with Dave LaFever. Yeah, it was <laughs> and over here we got Justin Bronson. Everybody's yep. seeing him on the site. Just met, met him up here at the weigh-in. He's going to meet us over here and watch the weigh-in, see how Tom and Brian did. And uh, we'll get on out here. We'll talk with Justin. From Fredericksburg, Virginia, fish on the boat side. Uh, yeah. Here he is. Uh, yeah. It's about 9 o'clock. I couldn't get rid of my dick. <laughs> How'd you do? He had us on fish all day. Look, look what I had. It's about 9 o'clock. Well, you know, that's the way. That's fishing. Get him in there. Yeah, thanks for coming. It just didn't work today. We went a lot of the same place. I couldn't get rid, couldn't get rid of my dick. Justin Bronson's here. They went out fun fishing. Uh, he's sitting there in the chairs. Uh, he's got like 17 pounds. Both of them do. Hey, these by 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, Tom, they're nice. Where were you? Where'd you go? Got dinks with it. Where? Got little tiny fish with it. Well, I was in uh, I was in Broad Creek with Dave Lefevre. I was too. I didn't go till one o'clock though. In the back. He went in the back with me and then he left. What, do you, what, what size are they? Just regular? A couple pounds each? Average Potomac bass. Yeah, your cookie cutter Potomac bass. Yeah. <laughs> Still, you did a good job, though. Okay, good day, Rex. You had two five yesterday. Your fish today are going away. Nine pounds, 14 ounces, 12 pounds, 3 ounces, two day total, 11th place. Tournament limit to tank had 16 one yesterday. He's looking to repeat that. He fell off just a little bit tight. Yeah, I did. I have a 12 inch in there I couldn't get rid of. And yeah. water got too high for what I was doing, so. Okay. All right, let's see what he's got. Five best limit. Add this 16 one. His weight, 12 pounds, nine ounces, 20. Big fish right now, boat side, five one. Try one.
Big fish go away. Four pounds, ten ounces, five bass tournament limit. This is Tom Wolverton. Five bass for Tom. He had 12 four yesterday. Boy, I tell you, you're consistent anyway. You're right there. 12 four yesterday, a little better today. His weight. 12 pounds, ten ounces, 24, 14, Tom. Two day total. Appreciate you being here. I want to thank uh, Jimmy up there at the Ranger. He got me running or I want to be able to pitch the tournament. That crew up there is great. And I want to thank um, the people who helped me, my wife, and the Vance College, Dirty Jigs, and Rages. Yeah. Without that crew up there, they're great, man. I want to be able to fish. That's our pit crew. Keep you guys going. I think they're doing a great job. All right. Thank you, Tom. See those big fish. All right, Alex, come on up. 5-1 hey, uh, right now on the boater side. You got a bunch of reds? Right there. No, I got you back. Oh, yeah. Looking for five two. That fish gonna weigh four or five. Four pounds, five ounces. Guys, if you want to weigh a big bass, be sure and tell me. Nice. From West Hunt to Crofton, Maryland. Fishing the Clark side, Brian Colby. 6'4 yesterday. Hey, Brian. How you doing, little buddy? Pretty good. I've um, lost a couple fish, but that's fishing for you. Ain't it the truth? He's got two more today, two bass at a way. Three pounds, 10 ounces, 914, two day total. Thank you, sir. Sure. I want to shout out to the Bass College. Wouldn't be here without him. Steve Von Brands, the man, takes care of us very well. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, let's see what the non-tournament guys caught and where what they would have gotten, where if they would have placed. What I do, I'm a silent. See what Justin's got here. We, I can tell you what they weigh. Close. Two two. <laughs> bag is this? Two one, two two. No. One fifteen. One two. Uh -huh. How many fish do I have in there? You got six, buddy. You don't count. <laughs> <laughs> One pound. Unless one of my little ones went underneath the song. One three. That's like two three. They'd be they'd weigh more if they had food yeah. and eggs. They're spawned out. They're all skinny. I was avoiding Colby. Yeah, you've been fishing with them. Doctor, somebody else can figure it out. That night that I caught that five. That's not bad. One that's like one ten. Oh, he went to the other side. Oh, your fish? That little one I threw back came out of his side and jumped across. Back to back. I left it four. Yeah, that's a little better. That one there. Plenty lively. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Linda. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Two pounds. Two one. I caught a couple on a football jig. Yeah, that's nice. They look nice. They, 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 there's a better fish than they weigh. Yeah. You know, with valleys and stuff early in the year, that's like a three pound fish that short. Yeah. Everything that's on the Bass College, you're going to learn a lot more, you're going to catch a lot more fish, and you're going to be a lot more successful. So pay attention to the Bass College, all that information's out there for you. Thank you, man.